we how's everyone doing? Good I hope. We this is dragging the Bruce Lee story for the Atari Jaguar, you know? And I'm playing as Bruce Lee himself and which is pretty awesome. And I'm fighting against two fellas leak, you know. Uh Um, I'm messing around with the volume and stuff. Okay. Uh, right. Right. So, what do we think about this game? You get the sound is not very good. I, as you can hear. You know, I, I, I got killed there. Like, I had to turn my, vo my volume up just to hear it and you know. Mm hmm. Yeah, yeah, so your footage Bruce Lee and uh what's it like uh, the sound at the the bottom is very low. Maybe we can we can um turn the volume back up or something. Yeah, it's at maximum uh, as you can see. There is a sound like the the audio, the audio was not very good, you know, for some reason, you know, but, um, the yeah, one thing I know, it's not a toy limit, you know what I mean, and, uh, it seems to move, uh, from one location to another, you know, so, uh, it's, it's sort of like fun for you or something, except it's in the beat up style, you know, um, I think the graphics are, are, are pretty good, it's just the audio that really fails here, uh, now, uh, now I'm not sure if Dragon the Bruce Lee story was a movie. I say it probably was. It would, we never seen it, so I think the game is based on the movie. But I'm getting my ass handed here by these two fellas and bleeding uh, uh, machetes, me clearers, you know. Uh, I'm, just, I'm just tapping buttons to help it for the best, you know. But it's awesome to play as Bruce Lee. You know, Bruce Lee is an awesome martial artist, and uh, you know, so, um, it has better graphics than Kasumi Ninja, you know what I say, and it's, it's great to play as Bruce Lee, but, uh, it just, um, uh, when, when you do jump kicks and stuff like that, it's sort of like you're on the moon or something like that, you know, that's the best way we can describe it, you know, um, well, You can punch and kick and stuff, which is pretty awesome. So, I'm just tapping buttons here, so, just match the buttons, you know. So, so dragging the Bruce Lee story, um, it's not, ter it's not terrible, you know, but the audio was pretty bad and, uh, um, there's not a lot of variety in the moves, really, you know, it's just punch and kick and jump kick. Uh, but I, I guess it's more realistic that way. It's based on a, on a real, actual martial artist, and I say, I say it's, pretty, it's pretty awesome to play as Bruce Lee, but it's not a stellar fucking fighting game, you know, it's not as good as 342 or Mortal Kombat. It's very limited, but it's, it is what it is, and it's okay, like, you know. Now again, we 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 paid uh, twenty five euro for this. Uh, I got it to I got it with Kasumi Ninja, so uh, you know. Um, uh, I guess I have w one continue left. Well, I guess three lives. Who the fuck is this guy? It's like Shredder or something, except he's got a big fucking knife. Uh. <laughs> It's a bit unfair, isn't it? Like, I know Bruce Lee is awesome, but look at the size of this guy. He's got a big knife in that, like, you know. Big sword or whatever it is. I'm getting my ass handed here. <laughs> Give me here. Um, I'm doing Bruce Lee uh, injustice here, you know. Um, but the audio is really bad, like, it, you know. Uh, okay, the Atari the Jaguar doesn't have great audio. But this is the worst audio sounding game I've heard in the world, like, you know. Game over. No, I don't know what the hell that is. That a dragon? Yeah. Well, I got a whole scar, so... 
Okay. You know, so that's, that's pretty awesome. That's one thing that Kasimi needs to do. He, 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 no, he, he can't enter your name as a white scar or anything like that. So, it is what it is. It's it's nothing stellar, but you know, uh, what other game can you play as Bruce Lee? You know, so, and, you know, that's a plus. Yeah, I'm at, I'm at the top of the scoreboard. So, very interactive. Made this game and brought it out. Yeah. So, it's not bad, really, cause in my opinion. Um, I believe this is I I exclusive for the Zagreb. I don't remember this game coming out for anything else. Or I could see me ninja. So, the, the, the Terry Zagreb has a lot of unique games. Okay, a lot of people would say they're fucking rubbish, but. My experience playing them, they're not that bad, you know. Um, but the audio fails here. Uh, it's the only issue we find. And jumping, doing jump kicks is a bit awkward, you know. So you can run the moon or something like that. Like, like the only other fighting game I've played where if you do a jump kick and you're so you can run the moon is virtual fighter league, like, you know. So the difficulty was uneasy, but still pretty hard. Like speed, normal, turbo. Maniac. I never heard a maniac get speed before. I wonder what that, what that's gonna be like. Let's see, like you know. So it's strange, you know. You can. So it's a one player or two player story, or it's a one player battle or two player battle, two player battle versus CPU. Okay, I'm just gonna stick with one player story right now. Um, and that's you have to. Physically start the game yourself. Most foot get most games to start themselves. We have to tell it to start. So that's that's unusual. Uh, I never played a game where you actually have to start it. But <laughs> I know that sounds stupid, you know. But anyway, Mountain Festival, nineteen sixty one. That's probably a real place. No, I don't know. Where it's from. Took a restaurant or something. A lot, lot of fish. Um, it's a lot faster than before. This is maniac speed. It's a lot better this time. Yeah, pretty good. Pretty good. That's my league at Bruce Lee kicking ass. You know. Yeah. Whereas before, league was really slow. So, yeah, like a maniac speed is fucking... It's the shit, you know, in my opinion. And these people just relaxing in the background there watching these two fellas kicking the shit out of each other. Even the chef is uh, is watching. See the chef there. So I don't know how much of this is based on the movie because I'm pretty sure this is based off off the movie. Uh, so it's not bad in my opinion. It's not terrible, you know. Um, in my opinion, it's uh, it's full screen, which I like, you know, and it's pretty awesome. Yeah, so look, 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 look. in my opinion, the uh, Dragon the Bruce Lee story is pretty good, like, you know, uh, but how long is the game, I don't know, but um, my, my advice is ha, ha, um, play on Maniac Speed, you know, if you want the best solution, uh, best experience, but um, that's, that's, look, the only other fighting game I've played where you, you can change the speed. It's 342, but you have to buy 342 tour. Well, you, you had to buy a whole new game just to get it to go faster, you know. So, yeah, it's pretty awesome. A couple of girls there, girls there chilling out there, watching these two fellas kicking the shit out of each other. Oh, I'm actually going to try and track down the film of this and see what it's like, you know. I say if we did, we would enjoy the game more because I'd know, I'd know why these fellas are fighting me. They just go sort of looks like a sailor or something like that. So obviously, um, Bruce Lee shagged his missus or something. I don't know, like, you know. Or maybe he's gay or something. I don't know. Fuck. <laughs> but, uh, I've got my ass handed to me there. You know. He's got two energy bars, Bruce Lee. Uh, that, that's one continue down, two to go with it. Yeah. I'm doing this one handed, so like, I'm not even using the D-pad because I have to hold the, uh, the uh, you know, the, the phone up to record this, you know. 
So it's not bad, not bad in my opinion. You know, it's if I want a bit of uh, minus fun playing as Bruce Lee, the, the best martial artist of all time, then yeah, this game is, is pretty good. Uh, it's way better than Double Dragon 5, anyway. You know, uh, but the next day, as you see, there was fighting two fellas with fucking knives and stuff. The shades and all, so that's a bit unfair. Then it was fighting joint shredder with a fucking big long fucking sword. So, yeah. And uh, so, yeah, you gotta keep tapping the buttons. You know, and. Well, you can hear how bad it is. Well, I've got my tail up, up to 40 and I can barely hear the fucking thing. Yeah. Oh, not bad, not bad, in my opinion. Not bad. Um, I'd say it's better than consuming names in the fact that it's a lot faster. And actually playing as Bruce Lee, you know. But, you know, it's just a matter of opinion. Um, like, now, I don't know if if, 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 the, if the number buttons on, on the number pad do that, and I say they probably do. Uh, yeah, they do something anyway, yeah. If, if, punching and kicking and stuff, you know, so yeah. Oh, you fucking look at a fucking chain and shoot me across the floor, like. But so that's um, Dragon the Bruce Lee story on the Atari Jaguar. It's not bad, it's not, it's not, it's not the worst thing I've ever played. Uh, but my, my advice is put it on my maniac speed and just hammer them fucking buttons, you know. <laughs> You know, um, so it's not bad. And he plays Bruce Lee and that. So, if we were to give this a score out of 10, dragging the Bruce Lee star on the Atari Jaguar, we'll give it a 7 out of 10 again. Uh, just like a Simi Ninja, I mean, it's unique, it's, it's it has, uh, you know, it's, I, I don't think this came out on anything else, so, you know, yeah, you know, dragging the Bruce Lee story. I'm gonna actually try to track down the movie and give it and watch it, see what it's like. Because I've never actually seen the film. I'm pretty sure it is based on on, on the movie. Uh, if we did, then I'd know why these fellas are fighting. You know. Um. So yeah, I'm gonna end the video there and say uh, thanks very much for watching. If anyone's watching, and I'll make another video soon. Uh, I've got Dino dudes on the way for the Atari Jaguar, so when I get that, I'll, I'll make a video on that. And so, what do you guys think about, you know, the Atari Jaguar and these games, you know, Kasumi Ninja and now this uh, Dragon, the Bruce Lee story? Do you think they're any good or do you, do you think they're shite, you know? My opinion is they're not terrible, they're not, not that bad, you know. But, uh, obviously, you know, Street Fighter 2 and Mortal Kombat have these games beaten, you know. But it's not bad, not bad, you know, I'm having fun playing the game, that's, that's all that matters, you know. League. So yeah, I mean, a 7 out of 10 for a dragon, the Bruce Lee story. Just the audio is not the best, and jump kicking is like you're on the moon, but if you increase the speed to, to uh, maniac speed, then it's a better experience, because when I first started playing the game, he was moving really slowly and stuff, and I was thinking, Jesus sake. So... Yeah, thanks, thanks for watching if anyone's watching and I'll see you all later. Take care, boy boy.